Hey guys, welcome back. You can see I've got the IF transformer here, T1, on the bench. I elected not to rebuild it because it's not a problem. However, I did uh, rebuild T2, and I'll show that here in just a moment. You'll notice I've got a, a little small circuit board that I built, a small tester here, to uh, test the IF transformer and uh, look at uh, what frequency it resonates on. So if you look at the picture-in-picture, uh, picture, you'll see where we're at right now. My uh, input signal here is coming from my uh, signal generator. And the uh, probe here is connected to the oscilloscope itself. And of course, I'm across the uh, one side of the uh, transformer. I think this is the uh, primary connection, if I'm looking at that correctly. So let me just uh, rotate my uh, RF signal generator and uh, keep an eye here on the LED. You can see the way I uh, built the uh, circuit, the uh, LED will illuminate when we get uh, in close proximity to the uh, IF frequency itself. Again, there's some uh, stray capacitance here as well. So what I found in the out-of-circuit test here with my uh, short jumper leads, uh, about plus or minus 5 kilohertz, so uh, not bad. So that definitely uh, makes it practical. You can see I'm adjusting my attenuator here on my RF signal generator. So I can turn that down to get a better point of uh, resonation here and uh, you can see there on the scope we're uh, just under 455 uh, kilohertz so not bad of course I can uh, jack up the amplitude here and of course it makes the uh, response a little more broader but you guys can see the uh, concept behind that so a pretty cool little circuit if you're interested in uh, building one for yourself. Again, stay tuned. I'll post the uh, schematic here at the uh, back of the video and also make it available for uh, download. So you can see another configuration here. I've got my uh, digital multimeter hooked up just coming off of the uh, plus line here that I have. In addition here you can see I'm just taking advantage of uh, two channels on the oscilloscope with the blue line being uh, DC voltage. So uh, let me just rotate this through here and you guys can uh, see where we're at here. I'll go north of um, the uh, 455. And again, I'll go under 455. So it makes it very uh, versatile here. If you don't have a uh, scope, just a frequency counter, you can just hook up a uh, digital multimeter here and uh, just peak it accordingly. So you can see there I'm peaked using the digital multimeter. And I'm showing about what 400 and 54.8 uh, kilohertz, so not bad. Looking back here at some of the video that I shot when I was uh, just working on that second IF transformer, you can see uh, just prying up the uh, tab here to be able to get underneath there and uh, just free up the old uh, mica caps. This particular uh, transformer is uh, very easy to uh, rework because the uh, capacitors here you can see are on the uh, top side of the uh, IF can unlike uh, T1 that resides underneath. So uh, this is one that's uh, very very simple to uh, get in here and rebuild. And a uh, close-up view here with that uh, one side emptied out. And the discarded uh, mica pieces here that were removed from that one section. And pulling out the LCR meter here, you can see the uh, secondary side of the T2 
at 14.7 ohms of DC resistance. And you can see we're just north of 1.1 millihenries. More mica removal here off of the T2 transformer on the uh, primary side. And then we'll take a look at inductance and uh, DC resistance of the coils for documentation. And very similar here to the secondary side on the primary, you can see 12.6 ohms of DC resistance and 1.044 millihenries. A little housekeeping here, just to get the uh, lugs here on the IF transformer cleaned up. And you can see how simple this modification will be. There's uh, plenty of room here on top in this IF transformer to uh, mount the uh, small capacitors here. And just cutting the uh, hold down tab here at all uh, four locations here to mount the uh, new capacitors to. So you can see there the new capacitors in place for the uh, secondary side 106 picofarad was called out. I went back with 100 picofarad. And on the primary side, I doubled up 100 picofarad and a 27 picofarad. And the original design was 131 picofarad. Everything seems to uh, be resonating uh, well. And uh, that's what kind of sparked the idea for me to uh, make that little tester here that I'll share this schematic on. I named the circuit IF Transformer Resonant Frequency Finder. Again, it's very similar to a, a signal tracer. You can see I have my RF signal generator input. It goes through capacitor C1, which is a 10 picofarad capacitor, just to minimize the uh, loading effect. It goes over to D1. That's really the uh, workhorse, the uh, 1N34A. We're going to convert the uh, AC signal to DC and uh, we'll sample that on each side of C2 and again we're driving the base of T1 and again we're creating the uh, LED to light there is a uh, switch through uh, transistor uh, T1 with R2 keeping the uh, current and limit. And again, I've got this designed to uh, draw, I think it was around 2 milliamps or so, or a little more. So it's a minimal load on the uh, battery itself. Going back over to the uh, left, R1. I threw that in there because I was looking for a high resistance there to reduce the uh, loading on the IF transformer. My uh, final adjustments was only around... Uh, 13k. So if you build this, you may want to play around with that or even omit that particular part. Again, the transformer under test would be tested on the uh, primary and secondary. And you guys can see the uh, frequency counter or oscilloscope with the built-in counter option uh, is coupled in at the same location as the RF signal generator input. I'll put a link so you guys can download a, a copy of this for yourself on the uh, show more or description of the uh, video. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. More to come soon. Take care.